You know, college is one of the biggest decisions teens make. WMAR 2 News' Janae Wright spoke with some teens who are spending their spring break visiting historically black colleges and universities. Janae. Yeah, Jamie, when you have choices on where you want to go to school, how do you make that decision? Well, one group is hoping to help Baltimore teens make their choice by giving them a week-long college tour. In 1997, Lawrence William noticed a problem. Schools were only telling students about certain colleges and universities. They exposed many of our children to the local college, to Notre Dame, to Maryland, Loyola, but the HBCU part was missing. So he created Caring for Young Minds, and every year for the last 26 years, they've been taking students on trips during spring break to visit HBCUs along the East Coast. These children today are children that has to see, touch, and feel, um, and exposure is the greatest way to educate a child today on any subject matter that you're trying to teach them. Junior Kelly Jenkins is one of 160 Maybe students also. taking the week-long tour. She says she's excited to see a variety of historically black colleges and universities because her mother went to one. I feel like being with people who look like you and act like you is very influential and beneficial for you in the long run rather than being somewhere where you feel out of place or uncomfortable. Jenkins says going on a trip with other students is also a different experience from visiting with family. Being able to tour so many schools is going to give you a better insight on what college life is actually going to be like. And you're not going just by yourself or with your parents. You're going with kids who are your age, who look like you. So you really get an idea of what it's really going to be like there. Not every student knows what an HBCU is. I wanted to like expand my views of other schools, you know, what they have to offer, what they don't, how big campus is, what I could do at school. Rahim Adeiga's family is from Nigeria. He says he didn't know much about historically black colleges and universities growing up. I recently actually got introduced to HBCUs, like maybe my freshman year of high school. He tells me he's thrilled to go and already has a college in mind, North Carolina a and It was very interesting to see people like me go to schools like that. He wants to be an engineer, so he says he's hoping to find an HBCU with the best program. He says it's important for all students to go on college tours as early as possible. It could teach you like where you want to go, maybe how you may fit into the system, how you like the place. William is not only exposing students to more college options, He's hoping to make a change on their outlook on their education as well. Sometimes just exposing a child to a different optic, they come back to school and they change. And the HBCU tour starts this Saturday. They will kick off the tour visiting Bowie State University and then Howard, and then they'll visit HBCUs in Delaware, Pennsylvania, and Virginia before returning home next Sunday. Jamie. All right.